In an elevator accident earlier this week have now hired attorneys and late this afternoon they announced they're planning an independent investigation. Also today Atlanta police released body camera footage showing the moments before and after the incident. Mm -hmm. Joe Hankey gives us a look tonight. The chaotic and tragic scene on Tuesday as well as a look at the moment the elevator collapsed. It was all captured on a body camera from an Atlanta police officer. After the victim was taken to the hospital, the Atlanta police officer watched the surveillance camera video of the incident. A crowd of people are on the elevator. Its doors are open as it's moving down. Some jump off safely, but Jamarcus McFarland would become trapped. How many people's in there? Atlanta Fire reports 16 people getting off safely and it found the elevator collapse pinning McFarland. The body camera video shows a crowd of people surrounding firefighters as they start working. Eventually, the police officer tells them to take the stairs to another floor to make room as more firefighters with equipment arrive. If you want to help, you have to go back. The rescue process took over an hour. Once removed and put on a stretcher, Atlanta Fire reports McFarland had a pulse, but it was weak. He later died at Atlanta Medical Center, which is next door to the Highland Avenue building where the incident happened. McFarland was living here along with his football teammates from Championship Prep Academy. The officer can be heard talking with other officers as they gather details of what happened. His friend said that he was higher and he jumped to crawl out and it started moving slowly. State officials tell 11 Alive the elevator's yearly inspection permit expired in August of 2020. The building's manager claims the weight limit for the elevator was exceeded by nearly 1,000 pounds. And investigators with the state are looking into how exactly this accident happened. Happened. Currently, there's no timeline for when that investigation will wrap up.